ए हाय हेलो वेलकम बैक टू मेन्यू वीडियो दिस संपत्ति वाचिंग संपत्ति सैमफेक्स यूट्यूब चैनल एंड दिस इस पोको एफ थ्रू द शॉमी मी इलेवन एक्स फाइव जी कस्टम रॉम रिव्यूज बैक विथ न्यू वीडियो दिस इज सिंपल गूगल पिक्सल ओएस मे फिफ्थ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर इज अ सिक्योरिटी पैच एंड्रॉयड वर्जन इज फोर्ट Aliyah version 29 is the kernel use May 12th is the build date build number you can see Pixel OS Aliyah 14.0 and I have used the uh, global hyper OS firmware check out the description the link for that is given and flashing method video is also given in the description this is the typical home screen what we can get and the here if you press and hold here you also get wallpaper and style and lock screen customization as you can see you can actually increase or decrease the size of the clock as you can see make it smaller dynamic and colors you can select actually and you can adjust the intensity of the color those are the customization in the home screen if i go into more wallpapers you also get AI wallpaper as you can see plenty are given and emoji workshop wallpaper these are present only in the pixel kind of this kind of uh, ui and other wallpapers are pre-installed app grid you will get up to 5 into 5 from 2 into 2 and if i press and hold here again widget settings again you will get print of widgets like clock widgets if i press and hold here and add it on the home screen and you can even adjust them press and hold here and again adjust this this is how the widgets we get in this particular rom guys the qs panel is really really smooth i haven't find any sync option here but other options are given here and dolby atmos is simply missing in this particular rom coming to dialer again you get a basic google dialer here call recording will be there but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call and guys people ask me about 5g connected in this particular device after flashing any custom roms guys very simple answer is this is powered by snapdragon 870 and one 5g band is available i think so one or two maybe because of that you might get 5g connectivity but it will not be a uh, good connectivity i can say other uh, smartphones having more bands will be better than this one with bo all the networks i am speaking not just with geo or airtel that you need to keep in mind if i show you every uh, video to this particular sim networks it will not going to make any difference 4g plus connectivity will be there in terms of 5g don't expect anything higher compared to any other smartphone you not you should not forget this is powered by snapdragon 870 and with two 5g bands and this is a camera application you get like i integrated as you can see all the modes are given here you need to download that interface wise it is really really fast in the video mode you actually get 4k 30 yeah only 30 option is there this is the camera application the ui is really really smooth guys what i missed is the uh, this one dolby atmos let's see some results what i got in this particular room like geekbench score 1175 is a single score and 2849 is a multi score and at 14 and linux 4.19.306 nexus alith version 29 is the kernel used and there's a version 6.3.0 now geekbench has been updated from 6.2.2 to 6.30 compare this don't compare this results with your smartphone there might be differences again and 820487 is the results what i got anti to benchmark results and 5 degrees celsius is the temperature is and 6 percentage of battery has been dropped and 10.2.5 version i am using here again this is safety net status result both getting passed and pay this play store is getting certified and uh, using payment applications is not a problem in this particular room again wide one level one certification and hdr 10 support is there watching audit application is also not a problem here and this is for 200 mbps atl fiber connection what i got it's pulling up to 240 and this is read rate speed test with numericals and graphicals and this is the charging rapid i mean the 33 watt charging support is available in this room let's see in the settings uh, what we can get and it's very simple guys pixel kind of view as you can see simply you get this system here here you also get updated but i recommend to flash to recovery always and use the format data method again gestures again you get basic gestures and so up to three finger screenshot one handed mode navigation mode again you get some little bit options here just hide to gesture bar but no options like increase the gesture bar like that that's how it is and no disk misc settings i mean the audio settings here again location google maps everything is working fine if you are not going to use all the time just disable that you might save some battery life accessibility menu again my personal favorite here without actually using the physical buttons of volume here you can actually use this uh, toggle as you can see you can increase or decrease the volume from here not just that you will also get some other 
handy features here. You should definitely try it out once you use like a Pixel OS or any light AOSP ROMs, then you should definitely utilize that handy feature. Again, display options, you get dark theme here, which is given the use black theme, which is my personal favorite. Always it should be there here in order to make pitch black conditions. Colors options are given here. Plenty of options are given. Live display again, color calibration you can do. Picture adjustment you can do. I really like it. Screen shower is also working fine, no problem here. Tap to sleep and tap to wake both are given here. Full screen apps, DC dimming, and high brightness mode options are given here. And again, this is the options you get adaptive brightness and where is the refresh rate? Yes, adaptive refresh rate options are also given here. Coming into sound and vibration, very similar to a Pixel experience. It's Pixel OS. You get intensity to adjust, nothing additional sounds and clear speaker options are given, but special audio is given here. Wired earphones also given media player and do not disturb and again individual settings you can do it from here no dolby atmos or anything like that coming to battery and battery life the battery life is gonna good now in this summers the battery life getting very very good in my opinion and this rom is also very same and thermal profiles you can actually adjust them charging control and k profiles has been added here that's the extra thing and battery saver also you get no extreme battery saver this is how the settings and everything guys it's really really smooth i haven't faced any issues in this particular room these are the quick settings toggles as you can see really smooth let's see bgm what all the graphic settings you get and wide of this video you guys can see graphic settings you will get quite obvious here just extreme here extreme plus options are not given and let's see how it actually handles in this particular room and gaming experience is not going to be a gaming ROM or anything like but it will give you good FPS here. I mean around 60 FPS so you might. Okay. There was no lag in the counter attacks and this is the volume that we get here. And these are the quick settings toggles as you can see the smoothness is really really good both the stereo speakers are working fine here let me decrease the volume and the gaming experience is fine here i can't say this on gaming rom or anything like that but for the 60 fps it is fine it's a balanced rom you can definitely try it out very light ui those who like this kind of ui they can definitely Try it out this particular ROM. We'll come back here, guys. This is the particular ROM, the Pixel is for Mi 11X. If you have any specific questions regarding this particular ROM, comment down in the comment section. If you are first time to this channel, hit that subscribe button down below and also the bell notification by pressing the bell icon. And if you like the video, give it a like. I'll be motivated to make similar kind of videos. If you have any specific questions regarding this particular ROM, comment down in the comment section. And if you are still not joined the WhatsApp group for Mi 11X, join the WhatsApp group and Again, guys, uh, check out my description. The links for all the things what I've spoken will be given in the description. This is definitely recommended for those who want simple UI and basic pixel kind of experience for your smartphone. Then you can try it out. We'll meet with another interesting video. Until that, keep smiling. Bye-bye for now.